a nice little rest for a little while and got cleaned up. I took a shower, I feel much better, and got dressed in my Snow White attire because we are going to Story Big Dining at the Wilderness Lodge. So we are taking a bus to the Magic Kingdom and then we're gonna take a boat to the Wilderness Lodge and it's actually pretty easy from our room. We just kind of walked right out and are gonna catch the buses here. Right as we walked up to the buses, there was a bus for the Magic Kingdom, so it worked out really well. So it's five o'clock, our reservation is at 6.05. We are not going into the Magic Kingdom, which is, it's kind of a little like, um, I don't even know the word, but like, it's so close. Because it's like, right there. But we're not going in. So it's so far away. There it is. Magic Kingdom. Wilderness Lodge after that lovely boat ride and the Wilderness Lodge looks as beautiful as ever. This is why this is my favorite resort. It is just beautiful. I think that is his favorite part of this whole place. My little guy decided that he was going to wear his Dopey costume from Halloween, not this past year, but the year before, so we are graced with Dopey's presence. Say hi. <laughs> and look at this tree. Hi, Dopey. Where are we going to have dinner? Dopey. With Dopey? Yeah? centerpiece it actually spins and look at the details the apple and it has everyone's signatures love that are you tired dopey yeah. okay no sleepies yet <laughs> bye grumpy see you soon we don't have dopey we have sleepy over here don't we? Oh my goodness! Is Toby acting like Sleepy today? Oh, <laughs> you must be. How silly of you. 
Dinner at Artist Point was phenomenal, awesome, amazing. I'm gonna do a full review on it, so if it hasn't already been posted, look for it coming soon because I kinda wanna go in detail about the whole experience, which was amazing. We are now catching a bus over to the Contemporary. We're gonna try to make it. We have about 20 minutes before the fireworks start because we are gonna go to the Top of the World Lounge to see the fireworks um, over there. We are now walking from the Contemporary to the Magic Kingdom to catch a bus to the Beach Club, but let's just talk for a second about how amazing the fireworks were that we got to do them in the boat. Like, that was such a different experience and truly amazing, and we had a couple different perspectives of watching the fireworks, and that was a pretty good one. We didn't get to hear the music, but it was pretty cool. And then when we were at the Contemporary, we did some shopping. I'm kind of hesitant to buy anything just yet. I did buy something earlier, but I wanna make sure that I see everything before I start buying stuff, but the Contemporary has pretty good shopping. So now we are just walking. The walk from the Contemporary to the Magic Kingdom is probably about 10 minutes. It's really a lovely walk, and um, it's one of, I think, I think it's one of the perks of staying at the Contemporary, not only the monorail, but getting to walk to the Magic Kingdom. We are now back at our resort and we are pooped. We got up at 5 a.m. and it is now like 10 something. It has been a very long day, a very lovely day. The two highlights for me were dinner at Artist Point and then watching the fireworks from the boat. Um, that we had originally, our original plan was to go watch fireworks at um, Top of the World, I think it's called, over at the Bay Lake Tower and see the fireworks there, but dinner ran long, and so we caught a boat that went to Fort Wilderness and then went to the Contemporary thinking we might make it, and we didn't make it, but we did get a very cool view of watching the fireworks on um, Bay Lake and just a different view that we had never seen before. So I really kind of feel lucky because we have now seen fireworks from in front of the castle, behind the castle, which is one of my favorite places to watch the fireworks, inside the castle, and now on Bay Lake. So I really feel like it was a special experience, and even though it wasn't what we had originally planned on, it was really, really nice. So. We have an exciting day tomorrow at Epcot, and it's gonna rain tomorrow, boo. But it's also gonna be really warm tomorrow. It's supposed to be 83, so, and it's January. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.